So today I'm going to talk about how to use uh, tea tree essential oil. So it's definitely uh, one of the top 10 products, uh, one of the best known essential oils and is a powerhouse product for the skin. So it can be used to cleanse and purify the skin, encourage healthy nail growth, promote a healthy scalp and beautify the complexion. So let's learn how to use tea tree, its benefits, safety tips, and I'm gonna use some recipes. All right, so top uses for tea tree essential oil, skin, 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 skin. <laughs> skin blemishes and minor irritations, um, respiratory and immune support, and we can use it for a natural surface cleanser and degreaser. Um, tea tree is also known as melaleuca. Um, as a matter of fact, doTERRA used to call it Melaleuca. Um, the label used to say Melaleuca. So you may have an older bottle that says Melaleuca. Same thing. Um, tea tree is native to Australia, and it actually comes from the Melaleuca alternifolia plant. Um, so that's where it gets the, its name, Melaleuca. So the Aboriginal people from the coast of um, New South Wales, they would apply the leaves directly to their skin for a cooling effect. Um, now doTERRA tea tree is grown and sustainably, sustainably sourced in Australia and Kenya. And this is where the plant grows best um, and which um, in turn, it produces the best chemistry, chemistry for our health. So the leaves are collected and steam distilled um, to produce the oil and the waste from um, that distillation is used as mulch for the tea tree plants. So there's no waste um, created when distilling this oil. Pretty cool, right? Um, so essential oils are aromatic, um, volatile compounds found in plants, seeds, barks, flowers, and trees. Um, they are potent. Um, a pure essential oil is 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. Um, and so as we go through talking about dilution, um, that's why. So have you ever uh, crushed a peppermint leaf between your finger? What you were doing was rupturing that essential oil sac. And that's that essential oil aroma. And that's where the essential oils come from. So the aromatic compounds inside those tiny little sacs help protect the plant and um, to grow and thrive. And we get the same benefit when we use essential oils. So who can use tea tree? So pure tea tree essential oil, um, there is a difference. Uh, most out there on the market are not pure. So I'm speaking of pure essential oil tea tree essential oil is safe for children, babies, elderly, can be used aromatically and topically. Tea tree should not be used with pets. Um, and we can, aromatic use is simply inhaling it from the bottle, adding it to a room diffuser um, or inhaling it straight from the palm of our hands, okay? Making a room spray, that's aromatic use. Now, if you want pets, if you have pets <laughs> and you want to use tea tree in a diffuser, um, just use safe practices, which is using less drops. Use a water-based um, diffuser because less um, oil, it's less concentrated. It's dispersed into tiny, tiny, tiny drops um, in a water diffuser by that ultrasonic unit on the bottom. And so very little is introduced into the air. And then... Um, keep the doors open and um, say, for instance, um, I'm feeling, you know, a little stuffy and I want to use tea tree in the diffuser. Um, I'm going to use it in the room where uh, my pets don't normally um, chill out. So topically, it can be applied to the skin where it's needed by itself, which is called neat application, or you can dilute it with a carrier oil. Um, I like to use fractionated coconut oil. It's that coconut oil that you have in your kitchen that solidifies when it's cold. Well, fractionated coconut oil, the fat's removed so that it stays in a liquid state and it doesn't have a smell, it doesn't stain and it absorbs really nicely into the skin. So um, it's the preferred carrier oil, but you can use any vegetable-based oil 
um, as a carrier oil. So you can use avocado oil, sweet almond oil, argan, jojoba, um, olive oil. And, and so we dilute an essential oil um, with a vegetable-based carrier oil, and that will help reduce sensitivity, but also help reduce um, the evaporation that happens. It'll slow it down. Um, because they're so volatile and they evaporate so quickly. When we use a carrier oil, it will slow down that evaporation and hold the oil in the tissue longer, and then it will enter um, through our tissue and enter our bloodstream. So um, less is more, and when in doubt, dilute, okay? Um, and so one teaspoon of a carrier oil is equivalent to 100 drops of oil. So a lot of times you'll see a recipe and it'll tell you drops, okay? Here's a general guideline to use when you're diluting essential oils. So under 12 years old, use their age. So one drop of essential oil for each year that they are old per a teaspoon of carrier oil. So I'll give you an example. If you have a five-year-old and you're not sure how to dilute, five drops of essential oil, one teaspoon of, car of carrier oil, okay? Um, and that's a general rule that you can apply. Now with healthy adults, um, the, the um, maximum, now this is general guideline, you can go over and under, um, as you start using them, you start um, experimenting and learning what works best for you. Um, but as a general guideline, 20 to 40 drops is gonna be the maximum that you're gonna use um, in a 10 ml roller, a 200 drop um, bottle, okay? Or the two teaspoons of carrier oil, okay? 20 to 40 drops max. Um, and then what you're gonna do is in that diluted blend, you'll just you know use what you need, okay? Um, and then for seniors and sensitive skin, use a maximum of 10 to 20 drops in that 10 ml size, which is about 200 drops. So, okay. So we can use it aromatically. Um, I've already talked about how it can go in and affect the limbic system. So the emotional benefits of tea tree are empowered, resilient, and safe. Um, and so if we are entering a situation where um, we know we want to have really clear emotional boundaries, tea tree is a really good oil to use, okay? Um, we can inhale it directly from the bottle. Like um, we can freshen and purify the air in a room diffuser. We can use it for respiratory and immune support in a diffuser. Um, we can make a sinus steamer in a, in a mug. We can fill it with water, uh, microwave it for a few minutes so that it's steaming. Add um, one to two drops each, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, and oregano. And then you can close your eyes and inhale it. Close your eyes or you're gonna really uh, get some stinging. Um, and then breathe in deeply for about a minute. And you can even drop a towel over your head and just inhale that um, steamer. Um, there's the flute recipe, F-L-O-O-T. And now you can use that aromatically and topically, okay? So you can put frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and tea tree in a diffuser. Um, and then you can also make a roller. Um, freshen the air, two drops lemon, two drops tea tree, two drops lime. Um, that's going to be an, a, an energizing, um, fresh um, mixture. Open airways, so we can use it for our respiratory support. Two drops tea tree, two drops lemon, and three drops breathe respiratory blend in the diffuser. Okay, okay topical use. Um, topical use is just simply applying it where we need it. So neat would be putting it straight onto our skin and say I had a little irritation there and just rubbing it in. Or you can dilute it like I was um, explaining earlier and then take you know a few drops and put it where you need it from the dilution. Um, um, I can use it, it, neat, it doesn't affect me whatsoever. We're all a little different. And so if you tend to have sensitive skin, dilute it first, or if you're using it on a younger person, make sure you dilute it. Um, they have a roller, uh, the touch roller, which are already diluted. Um, there's a tea tree touch roller. So that's already diluted. So if you're using it um, commonly, like 
on sensitive skin or littles, get the roller and then I'll, it's already diluted. Or you can make your own. Um, okay, so you can add it to your shampoo to soothe dry, flaky scalp. Um, it is a, a lice repellent. So what, I used to do this with my daughter, place a, a drop on my finger, put it on the hairline. Or you can add it to um, like a, a detangler spray. Um, you can put some conditioner and some water in a spray bottle, add tea tree, and then use that on their hair every morning before they go to school. Um, add it to your facial toner or to a cotton ball and just apply to blemishes. Um, apply to clean fingernails or toenails. So if you have any issues um, with your your fingers or toes, um, if you get a lot of um, ingrown or, or hangnail and you have any irritation, just put that drop of tea tree right on it and just keep putting that on there a couple times a day until um, it feels better. Okay, here's the magic of tea tree. <laughs> um, razor burn, uh, razor bumps, okay? So when we shave, and this goes for any skin related issues, blemishes, shaving. So the skin, um, we shave and it exfoliates the skin when we shave and cuts off the hair. Well, that skin grows back and covers that, that hair follicle, right? And bacteria can get stuck in there. So what you wanna do is exfoliate every time you, you wash or shower or you know whatever, exfoliate and then apply a drop of tea tree to that area. Um, and that helps tremendously with those razor bumps. Um, um, same thing with blemishes, you know, you want to cleanse the skin, use a washcloth, a little exfoliation, get rid of that, that dead skin that's on top, and then apply the tea tree, okay? Now, the other thing you can do is make a spray, and you can put witch hazel in a, a spray bottle, and, um, and then add drops of tea tree, add like 10 drops, and have a spray, um, so say, for instance, you get a lot of um, irritation any, somewhere, like uh, men who shave, right? You can put it, spray your hand, and then, or you can spray it on the skin, okay? Now, I wear a prosthetic leg. <laughs> I have tea tree in every bathroom. I have it next to my bed, because if I get any kind of skin irritation, that's the oil I'm going to grab. So every night when I take my um, leg, re remove my prosthetic leg, I can put the tea tree and put it on my skin anywhere I have irritation. Um, and the other thing I can do is I can use it to clean my liner. Um, and so most people aren't going to need to know this, but you might think of other uses, right? I keep alcohol and tea tree in a spray bottle and um, I can spray to clean things. Um, okay, let's see. Add it to your facial cleanser. Um, Make a surface cleanser with equal parts white vinegar and distilled water, and then add 10 drops each, tea tree and lemon essential oil. Um, now, this is an interesting fact. Um, I had someone tell me this, that the kids, um, the youngsters, teenagers, um, are able to go back to school without their masks. And I was told that um, half of the kids kept their masks on, and that's because of breakouts. Um, and so um, tea tree can be really helpful with um, skin irritations and blemishes. So grab a cotton ball, apply it where you need it, make a spray with witch hazel and a tea tree, spray it where you need it. It can be really helpful. So we can make roller blends, um, the immune support roller blend, the uh, flute, that's like the immune bomb, frankincense, lemon, on guard, and tea tree. Um, eight drops of each in a roller bottle, fill the rest with, with the carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil, and have on hand. And so if you're starting to feel um, a little run down, um, you can just roll it chest and spine and roll it throughout the day, bottom of the feet. For daily immunity, um, you can make a roller blend of on guard, 10 drops, eight drops of lemon, and five drops of tea tree, and then just make it a habit of rolling um, a little swipe on the bottom of the feet, 
at bedtime. Um, okay, so recipes. Um, you can make a yoga mat spray. So um, I'm about to start my melt classes through the city of Santa Clarita. And so I'm gonna have yoga mat sprays in my, in my classroom. Quarter cup witch hazel, three quarter cup distilled water, five drops lavender and three drops tea tree. Now, yoga mats um, are all made with different materials. So you do wanna spot check before you go spraying your yoga mat, do a little area and make sure that it's okay with your, um, the yoga mat material that you have before you go using it on the whole thing. And so all you have to do is shake, spray and wipe off. Um, you can make a, a clay facial mask. Now this is something that I'm gonna highly recommend for those youngsters and um, use it a couple times a week and keep using it, just keep using it. So two teaspoons of bentonite clay mix it with two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Now, it, it has a foaming action and it's, it can be a little stingy on the face. And so if it's too strong, then use water or reduce the cider vinegar and replace, um, maybe do one teaspoon distilled water, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar. So you can reduce the vinegar that you use or just take it out all together and use water. Um, a drop of frankincense, a drop of lavender, and a drop of tea tree oil. Combine the clay and vinegar in a bowl and stir it. And don't use a metal spoon when you're making this. Um, I use those popsicle sticks, the wood sticks. Um, add your essential oils and apply it to clean skin. Let it dry for five to 15 minutes and rinse with warm water and then follow it with a moisturizer. You can add tea tree to your moisturizer if you're really having issues. Um, I love this essential beard oil. My husband uses tea tree for everything. <laughs> I've told this story a million times, but the guy in um, uh, my Greek wedding, you know, he has the Windex. Well, that's my husband with the tea tree. He has the roller, he, he uses it for everything. So I love this recipe. I'm gonna definitely make one for him too. So um, five drops of tea tree oil and five drops of cedar wood. Combine the essential oils with one ounce of carrier oil. Now you can use fractionated coconut oil, but if you have sensitive skin or if you tend to um, get blemishes, then I'm gonna recommend jojoba oil or argan oil. And um, put those in a glass container or in a roller bottle, and then you can roll it and put it where you need it, okay? And then so daily, you know, a few drops into the palm and rub it in. And it's a great, um, emotionally, it's a great scent to use also. So they can even, and then if they get any neck irritations, it's great to rub it back there too. All right. So um, something about tea tree. <laughs> doTERRA essential oils are different. And that's because they are certified, pure, tested grade. And um, that's on purpose because most of the essential oils out on the market are adulterated and not pure. Um, then a lot of these recipes um, are not going to have the health benefits um, for you um, because if you're using an essential oil that has synthetics and additives in it. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're using pure essential oils and just know that there are different grades, okay? So synthetic oils lack purity and can be harmful to the body. Food grade are measured by the GRASS standard, generally regarded as safe. Um, it's a much higher standard, but it's, it's not um, recommended for internal use. And it's mainly used to flavor food and lacks the therapeutic benefits. And then there's therapeutic grade, which is not well regulated. Um, these are generally used for massage, aroma. Um, they have a low standard to pass um, to qualify for therapeutic grade. And then certified peer tested grade is exclusive to doTERRA. And on the bottom of every batch of oil that is produced, there's a number and you can go to source to you, source toyou.com enter this and you'll see exactly what's in the bottle. And um, there's, it's, every batch is tested over 60 times. And so um, just something to think about um, if 
you're not using doTERRA and you're using another brand, definitely do your research and make sure that they're pure. Did I talk about ear issues? I did not talk about ear issues. The most important, <laughs> the most important use. Um, the reason I started using oils was because of my daughter's ear issues. And so here's what you can do with tea tree. You can rub it um, along the mastoid bone and down the sides of the neck, okay? You can place a drop on a cotton ball and just set it on the outside of the ear, okay? You can rub it here for sinus issues, respiratory, ear issues. This is all connected. So whether it's, you know, an issue with the ear, the sinus, I do all of the all of the above because it's all connected. So I would take it here and run it and then run it down. I would rub it here and then run it down. And I would even do here and run it down. Okay. Um, my favorite use because um, it helped my daughter so much. Um, if you are interested in getting started with essential oils and are already currently working with another wellness advocate, I would love to help you get started. Um, so there's two starter sets that I recommend um, because they include the top 10 essential oils. And so they're going to include oils that you're going to use daily and for most, um, the most common uses are going to be included in those sets. And um, not only are, it, are, is the price discounted to wholesale pricing, which is 25% off, um, you get that wholesale membership. And so for the next year, anytime you order, you will get 25% off. And then um, there's no auto ship. It works just like Costco or Amazon Prime. Um, you just get the benefits um, when you want to order, if you want to order. Starter sets come with a diffuser and then they're also further discounted. So you really, there's a lot of savings um, when you're first getting started. Um, and then you have on hand, um, things that you need for digestion, for respiratory, for skin, for mood, for sleep. That's all included in the starter sets. Um, and so the Healthy Start set is, um, those are the 5 ml size, and there's about 85 drops in each bottle. So it's a significant amount of oil. And then the Healthy Essentials includes 15 ml size. And so these are triple the size. You get 250 drops approximately um per bottle and so and they both come with diffusers um and um so either way however you choose to get started um let's do it um, i'm here to help you along and teach you and um, i do have a welcome kit um and send you um, a bunch of additional freebies if you get started with me so um go to iambonagoman.com um sign up for the email so that you continue to get continue to get educated on these essential oils. Um, and um, if you wanna get started, you can click on the essential oils tab or you can go to my.doterra.com forward slash Terry Foster and um, choose um, become a member. That's that wholesale membership. You're not entering any auto ship. Um, it's just, it's normally a $35 fee. And um, when you get started with a starter set, they waive that fee. And so that's all that is. It's just giving you access to that 25% off. Um, and then you will get continued support from me um, along the way. So um, I hope to see you here next week and um, hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, I, I have a reminder for you. Take care of your body because it's the only place you have to live.